write equation number 1. 4p is equal to 3q plus 5. So, 4 instead of p, q plus 7 by 6 is equal to 3q plus 5. So, let us multiply. So, it will be 4q plus 4 into 7 by 6 is equal to 3q plus 5. So, here 2 2s are 4, 2 3s are 6. So, actually we will get 4q plus 7 to the 14 upon 3 is equal to 3q plus 5. Now, what we will do? We will take qq on one side and numbers on different side. So, let us write so, it will 4q minus 3q because this 3q will get transferred on left hand side. So, it will become negative and 5 added it is and plus 14 upon 3 will get subtracted. So, it will be minus 14 upon 3 here. So, 4q minus 3q, 1q. No need to write 1. So, now let us calculate these two fractions. 5 3 is a 15 minus so let us multiply means let us calculate this fraction actually here 4q minus 3q will be 1q no need to write 1 5 3 is a 15 minus 1 into 14 14 upon 3 1 is a 3 so q is equal to 1 upon 3 very simple we got the value of q. Now we can substitute this value of q in equation number 3. So, right, let us write substituting q in equation 3. Rewrite the equation. It is p is equal to q plus 7 by 6. So, p is equal to q is 1 upon 3. So, 1 upon 3 plus 7 upon 6. So, P is equal to, now LCM will be 6, actually means the 6 is a multiple of 3 also. So, here we will, in order to make this 3, 6, we have to multiply by 2. So, we will multiply in the numerator also. So, what we will get, 2 plus 7 in the numerator upon denominator will come, 3 to the 6. So, P is equal to? 9 upon 6. So, 3 3 is a 9. 3 2 is a 6. So, P we got as 3 upon 2. So, in the answer you will write P is equal to 3 upon 2 comma Q is equal to 1 upon 3 is the solution of given two equations. Let us solve our next example here. It is example number 4. And the question asked is, we have to solve two equations. Equations are 5y minus 3x is equal to 14. And second equation is 3y minus 2x is equal to 1. So, you can see here, all the coefficients, means all the variables have coefficients. But, you can see, x in the second equation have least coefficient that is 2. So, we will just name them the equations first and we can write from equation 2 3y minus 2x is 1. So, I can transfer 2x on right hand side. 3y is equal to 1 plus 2x, right? So, we can obtain actually y here. So, y is equal to 2x plus 1 upon 3. We can obtain x also, but in that case, we have to transfer 1, then again 2. So, more steps will be there. So, this is my equation number 3. So, substituting y is equal to 2x plus 1 upon 3 
in equation 1. So, rewrite equation number 1. 5i minus 3x is equal to 40. So, 5 instead of y, 2x plus 1 upon 3 minus 3x is equal to 40. What we can do here? We can multiply the full equation by 3 so that this 3 will get cancelled from the left hand side. So, let us write multiply equation by 3 on both sides. So, here we will get 5 into 3 in the bracket 2x plus 1 upon 3 minus 3 into 3x is equal to 3 into 40. So, 3, 3 will get cancelled and we have 5 in the bracket 2x plus 1 minus 3, 3 is a 9x is equal to then 14 into 3. So, 4, 3 is a 12 carry 1, 3, 1 is a 3 plus 1. 42. So, let us open the brackets. 5 into 2x plus 1. So, 5 2 is a 10x plus 5 1 is a 5 minus 9x as it is. And on the right hand side we have 42. So, now you can see 10x minus 9x. So, only x, 42 as it is, this 5 will get subtracted while transferring on right hand side. So, x is equal to, you will get, see, 42 minus 5 I am doing here. So, 37 is the answer. So, we got the peak value of x. We will substitute this x in equation number 3 and here and we will get y. So, substituting x in equation 3. So, let us rewrite the equation y is equal to 2x plus 1 upon 3. So, y is equal to 2 instead of x I will write 37 plus 1 upon 3. So, y is equal to here 7 to the 14 carry 1, 3 to the 6 plus 1, 7, 74 plus 1 upon 3. So, 75 upon 3. So, y is equal to 3 1 the 3, 3 2 the 6, 1, so 15. So, 3 5 the 15. So, we got 25. So, we got x as well as y. So, here also while writing the answer in proper words, you will write x is equal to 37, comma y is equal to 25 is the solution of given equations. Now, let us solve the next example. You can see this is example in which right hand side is 0. Means actually the constant values like 3 and 5 are also transferred on left hand side. Similar example actually. Just the values are shifted on left hand side. So, what we will do? We will write these two equations in the form of ax plus by is equal to c. So, suppose I am naming this as equation number 1. This is equation number 2. We can write from equation 1 2x minus y is equal to 3, right? This minus 3, I transferred on right hand side. So, it will become plus 3. So, no need to mention plus sign. Now, here, what we can do? We can write this equation in the form of y. How? Suppose, 2x is equal to 3 plus y. And again, what we can do? We will just keep y here. And again we can transfer the 
number three on left hand side. Actually, we could keep this on left hand side only, but for your convenience to show the equation in the form of ax plus by is equal to c, I have transferred three first. So here we will get two x minus three is equal to y. So let us write it properly. That is y is equal to two x minus three. So this is my equation number three. So now we can directly substitute this y in equation number two to find the value of x. So no need to write the second equation in the form of ax plus by is equal to c. What I will write? Substituting y is equal to 2x plus 3 in equation 2. So let us rewrite equation number 2. 4x minus y minus 5 is equal to 0. So here 4x as it is minus instead of y we will substitute this 2x minus 3 minus 5 is equal to 0. Pay attention here it is minus y. That's why I am writing minus outside and y in the bracket so that we can't we will not confuse with sign. So let us open the bracket here. Four x as it is minus of two x, so minus two x. Then minus of minus, so it will be plus three. Then minus five is equal to zero. So four x minus two x will get two x here. Let us transfer this number on right hand side. This minus five will become plus five. And plus 3 will become minus. So 2x is equal to 5 minus 3, 2. So 2 ones are 2, 2 ones are 2. So x is equal to 1. We got our first value. So we will substitute this x in equation number 3. So substituting x in equation 3. So equation 3 is y is equal to 3x minus 3. So y is equal to 2 in the bracket 2 instead of x. I will substitute. Sorry, it is 1. Actually, the x is 1. So y is equal to 2 ones are 2 minus 3. So we will perform the subtraction, but sign will be of bigger number. So y is equal to minus 1. So here we got our x and y both. So you will write while writing the answer. x is equal to 1. y is equal to minus 1. Is solution of given equations. So here we complete our fifth example. Now let us solve. Next example, sixth example. This is last example from exercise 4.2. It is 3x minus 2y is equal to 4 and 6x plus 7y is equal to 19. Let us name them as equation number 1 and 2. Now you can see here all the variables x and y in both the equations have coefficients but only y in the first equation have smaller coefficient. So we will write equation 1 in the form of y. So from equation 1, 3x, this minus 2y I will transfer on right hand side and this minus 4 I will take it on left hand side. So it is plus 4 actually. No sign means plus sign. So it will get subtracted and this minus 2y will become only 2y. So let us interchange the side. So 2y is equal to 3x minus 4. So 
y will be, I will transfer 2 also here. So, 3x minus 4 upon 2. So, this is my equation number 3. So, we will substitute this value in equation number 2 because equation number 3 we have derived from 1. So, substituting y is equal to 3x minus 4 upon 2 in equation 2. So, rewrite equation number 2, 6x plus 7y is equal to 90. So, 6x plus 7 in the bracket 3x minus 4 upon 2 means instead of y, I have substituted this value of y is equal to 19. Now what we can do? We will multiply both the side by 2 so that this 2 will get cancelled. So let us write multiply equation by 2 on both the sides. So here we will get 2 into 6x plus 7 into 2 in the bracket 3x minus 4 upon 2 on the right hand side also we will multiply. So you can see this 2 2 will get cancelled. So this have a look what will next. 6 2 into 6 12 12x we got and here plus 7 in the bracket 3x minus 4 and on the right hand side 2 into 19 38 we will have. So let us multiply open the bracket 7 into 3 21x minus 7 into 4 28 which is equal to 38. So 12 plus 21. What we will get? We will get 33x here. And this 38 as it is and this minus 28 will get added here and we will become plus 28. So 33x is equal to 8 plus 8, 16 carry 1. So 3 plus 3, 6. So x is equal to 66 upon 33. So, x you will get 2. Yes, we got the value of x. Substituting x in equation 3. Right? We will substitute x, so we will get y. So, rewrite the equation. y is equal to 3x minus 4 upon 2. So, y is equal to 3 in the bracket 2 minus 4 upon 2. So, y is equal to 3 to the 6. 6 minus 4, 2. So, 2 upon 2. So, y is equal to 1. So, in the answer, by writing the answer, you will write x is equal to 2, y is equal to 1 is the solution of given equations. So here we complete our exercise and this exercise was based on the method of substitution. This method of elimination by substitution. So in the next time, this uh, after this we will see the next method by using which we will solve another linear simultaneous. We will solve third type of linear equations. It is particular type actually. I will explain you what is that. Look at these two equations and the coefficients of variable 2, 2, 3, 3 means actually the coefficient of x here is coefficient of y in second example, in second equation and here coefficient of y in first equation is coefficient of x in the second equation. So what means what to do? How we will solve? One case that you can do, if you will take the LCM, means 
LCM of 3 and 2. So you will get 6, 6 all where. You will get 6, 6 here, 6, 6 here. Y, 6, Y here, 6, Y here. And both will have similar sign. So if you will subtract them, what will happen? X will also get cancelled, Y will also get cancelled. So what you will do? You will not get any kind of solution. So to solve this kind of equation, we have to perform three steps. Those three steps are, we will name them equation number one and two. So we will add these two equations first, then subtract these two equations again and by adding and subtracting, we will get another two equations. Say equation number three and four. So we will add that equation number three and four and we will get the answer. I will show you how. This is equation number 1. This is equation number 2. So, firstly we will add. Add equation 1 and 2. So, 2x plus 3y is equal to 4. And here, 3x plus 2y is equal to 2. So, we are adding them. So, 3 plus 2 plus 3, 5x. Again, 3 plus 2, 5y is equal to 4 plus 2, 6. So, take 5 common. x plus y in the bracket is equal to 6. So, 5 I will transfer on right hand side. So, x plus y is equal to 6 upon 5. So, this is equation number 3. Now, you can see this is the simple form of the linear equation. So, we have added these two equations. Now, again we have to subtract them. So, I will write it here. Subtract equation 1 and 2. So, 2x plus 3y is equal to 4 minus 3x plus 2y is equal to 2. Since we are performing subtraction, the base signs will change. So, 2x minus 3x. So, minus x. So it actually, it is 1x. No need to write 1. And 3 minus 2, 1y. No need to write 1 again. 4 minus 2, 2. So, we got our second equation, equation number 4 after subtraction. This now we have equation number 3 and equation number 4. Now, you can see these are simple equations. Here, x have different sign, y have similar sign. So, in order to cancel x, we will just add equation number 3 and 4. So, I will write... Add equation 3 and 4. So, equation number 3 is x plus y is equal to 6 upon 5. And equation 4 is minus x plus y is equal to 2. So, we are adding them. No need to change the sign. So, x minus x will get cancelled. y plus y, 2y. On the right hand side we can write. 6 upon 5 plus 2. So, 2y is equal to, we perform this calculation, 6 ones are 6, 5 twos are 10 upon 5. So, 2y is equal to 16 upon 5. So, this 2y will get divided here. So, y is equal to 16 upon 5 into 2. So, y is 16 upon 10. So, that is divided by 2. 2 8 is 16. 2 5 the 10. So, y I got it as 8 upon 5. Easy? We got the value of y. Now, this y we can substitute in any 4 of these equations. In equation 1, 2, 3, or 4. But you can see equation number 3 
and equation number 4 are easier to solve. So even 4 is the most easier one. So I will substitute in equation number 4. So substituting y in equation 4. What is equation number 4? Minus x plus y is equal to 2. So minus x instead of y I will substitute 8 upon 5 is equal to 2. So minus x is equal to 2 minus 8 upon 5 because this will get subtracted from right hand side. So minus x is equal to 5 to the 10, 10 minus 8 upon 5. So minus x is equal to 10 minus 8 will be 2 upon 5. So minus x is 2 upon 5. So x will be after transferring negative sign minus 2 upon 5. So you can see I got the value of x also. So while writing you will write x is equal to 2 upon 5. Sorry it is negative minus 2 upon 5 comma y is equal to 8 upon 5 is the solution of given equations. Here I will explain you once again. Firstly, look carefully at the equation. You can see here the coefficients are transferred. Means coefficient of x in first equation is coefficient of y in second equation and vice versa for x and y in the first and second equation again. So what we will do, we will add these two equations, we will get one equation of the form x plus y. Then we will subtract, so while performing subtraction, for one variable you will get negative sign. Means in this equation we got negative sign for x, it may happen for the next equation, means in the next example we will get y negative. So uh, keep in mind that after performing the subtraction, one variable will get negative. So we got equation number 3, equation number 4. Then we added these two equations again. Why? One variable is negative in any of the two equations. So that's why we will add them. So that variable having negative sign will get cancelled. And we will get another variable. Value of that on solving. We will substitute that value in any four of the equation and we will get the second value. So in this way we will solve this type of, means this particular type of simultaneous equation. So I will show you another example also here.